Hello snow friends, what is up? We are currently here at Whistler and we can't wait to show you how the slopes look like. So come along with us on this exciting and unforgettable journey. So before we bring you down the slopes, we want to give you an overview of the general landscape. As you can see here, the ski resort is actually made up of two mountains, Whistler and Blackcomb. On the left, we have Blackcomb Mountain and on the right, Whistler Mountain. The best thing is that the two mountains are connected via the peak-to-peak -peak gondola, which saves you a ton of time if you want to explore the two sides. And even if you're not up for exploring all the different runs in one day, taking the peak-to-peak -peak gondola is in itself a sight to behold. We start off first with Blackcomb Mountain, right at the very top. Known as 7th Heaven, the views up here are as beautiful as the name suggests. In fact, this is one of the two places where you get to see the Inukshuk on the slopes. The monument is supposed to act as navigation markers in the olden days, but has since evolved to more of a symbolism of safety, hope and friendship. The Seven Heaven Trail is a very open space where you get to see far-reaching, unblocked views of the mountain. The best thing about this trail as well is that you can easily cut across the zigzagging green trails if you feel like you want a more challenging route down. Still on Blackcomb Mountain, and following right after Seven Heaven, you will get to Jersey Cream Road, nestled right in the heart of Blackcomb. This is a relatively short run, which is more of a connecting run bringing you from the top at Seven Heaven, or from the Blackcomb Gondola, down to the easier green routes on the mountain. On a day which is less crowded, heading through this trail lined with so many snow-covered fir trees will make it seem as though you have the whole mountain to yourself. Rounding up the rest of Blackcomb Mountain, we have the longest green line, which will effectively bring you all the way down to the village. This route is similar to Jersey Cream, where it is a gentle trail amongst the forest. The good thing about the entire Whistler Blackcomb in general is that there will always be clear signboards throughout to let you know which is the easiest route to take, so you never have to worry about going the wrong way. We now move on to Whistler, which is just as amazing as Blackcomb, but with a different charm. Once again, we start off right at the top. This is the highest lookout point that you can get to via the chalice, and it's also the second place on the mountain with the Inukshuk. From here, you would proceed on via Matthew's Traverse, which has unbelievable views, which absolutely take your breath away. Taking this trail right at the very top of Whistler will make you feel as though you are flying through the sky. Following on from Matthew's Traverse, we come straight down into the Burn Steel Trail, which is one of our absolute favourites on Whistler. The trail here is much wider than other green trails and is lined by flat ground on both sides giving you a great sense of security. This makes it great for folks who want to gather up some speed, but without the fear of losing control and falling off a steep edge on either side. As we mentioned at the start of this video, the peak-to-peak -peak gondola is something not to be missed. The gondola gives visitors breathtaking views of the slopes, glaciers, alpine meadows, and if you are lucky, the occasional glimpse of wildlife such as black bears in their natural habitat. Suspended at a record high of 436 meters above the valley floor, the gondola spans 4.4 kilometers, which is about an 11-minute journey one way. Before we end off this video, we thought we would also show you how one of our favorite blue runs look like. As the name aptly suggests, Jeff's Ode to Joy is a friendly blue run, which is not too narrow or too steep. The best part is that there are no moguls here as well. Tucked at the top corner of Whistler Mountain, it has a dedicated chairlift serving this run, and we highly recommend this to all beginners seeking a challenge beyond the greens. We hope you really liked this video and do check out the other videos on our channel. Till next time and we'll see you again.